Huh. I guess my garbage disposal is dead. Found out my garbage disposal died. It's been in there for about eight years, so been through a lot. So I guess we're gonna replace it today. First things first, this is the new unit. It is in Secretator complete. Uh, it's a multi-grind and it has a sound seal technology. Um, most disposals are pretty loud and this one's supposed to be a little bit uh, quieter. Uh, as you can see, it actually has a case around it and it has some sound dating material in there to help cut down on noise. So if we open this up and everybody's sinks under the sink is probably the same way, just filled full of crap and junk and cleaning supplies and everything or an air fryer, which I did a review on. If you want to check on that link, I'll put it right, right there. <laughs> So I want to clean this out a little bit so we can look at the garbage disposal a little bit better. So what comes in this box is a new sink connector, a plastic piece for your connection to your plumbing, warranty card, Another disposal piece, just in case your stuff goes down instead of straight out. Comes with a clamp for your dishwasher if you have one. Comes with a cord kit and another seal. A stopper for the garbage disposal that fits right down in there. And then of course the instructions. So I'm actually going to look through these. I was just going to put the new one on the existing one, but I want to go ahead and change it out to this newer model just because it's shinier chrome and it might look a little bit better in the long run. So what I want to do is I'm going to look through these uh, instructions real quick and see if I need to use plumber's putty on the very top. And right there it says clean off the old plumber's putty, and then put their uh, sink seal in. So it looks like you don't have to use plumber's putty with this. I want to clean out from underneath here, set up some light, that way we can see underneath here, and we'll go from there. All right, so I've gotten everything out from underneath the sink, and I don't understand why, but this always happens. You get so much stuff underneath your sink, and it's just a good place to put things, but when you got to work on it, it's a pain in the butt. So this is everything I took out. So all that <laughs> was underneath the sink. So I got my little light in here so we can see as I'm working what needs to happen. Now, when I put in this dishwasher, uh, I put in this outlet too. So this one in the bottom is always on for the dishwasher. The one up top is a switched outlet for the disposal. Now, if you have a dishwasher inside this, this tube right here for your dishwasher, you got to make sure and you take out, there's a little knockout in there. You take a screwdriver and just pop it out. If you don't pop that out, your dishwasher will go to drain and it'll spray everywhere and you'll be very, very, very unhappy. So for size comparison, now that we've got some light under here, uh, you can see the difference in newer technology to older technology. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen this connector right here. All right, so I grabbed all my tools, got a drill for the... connector that goes into the <clears throat> sink. 
a flathead screwdriver, and a pair of channel locks. Now, your disposal will come with a wrench like this one. Uh, I always keep it in a cup underneath the sink, so that way I never get lost. So what happens is every now and then that'll get clogged or it'll get stuck. And underneath the, on the bottom of here, there's a place for this to go and you can turn it left or right. But also, on top, when you secure the uh, garbage disposal to the sink, it turns and locks into this little ring right here. So this sits like this, and then you lift this up, and it starts to seal, and what you do is you just take this, and that's how you get it to turn, and that's how you take it back off. So, we'll go ahead and remove the first one. Uh, I want to unplug it, pull the cord out of the way. So here is the top. Uh, this brown stuff right here is called plumber's putty. Now, like I said, this has been in here for about seven, eight years, and it it's supposed to stay pliable, but it does dry out over time. So you can actually run into a problem of your sink starting to leak because this stuff starts to fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I want to take a screwdriver and I want to clean all this up. That way we can install the new piece. All right, now everything's out of the way. I got the disposal up on there to hold this thing tight. So what I want to do is I'm going to put this on Okay, then this on, and then I'm going to try to snap this ring on, and it can be a pain in the butt. Now I'm pressing so hard that it's actually lifting the new garbage disposal up. So you kind of got to just work it around with your fingers while you're holding all this stuff up. It's not very fun. And there we go. All right, now, I'm gonna take the garbage disposal back off and I'm gonna try to straighten this so it, it's not crooked in the sink. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten these so that it'll hold the ring in place inside. And now I can go ahead and tighten it up. All right, so that's done now. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll take my screwdriver and go ahead and tighten them up a little bit tighter just so I don't have to worry about leaks or anything. And if you notice, this one is a lot tighter than the others. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this one off a little bit. So about even with these, that way I can get all of them with about the same amount of down pressure in each location. So before I put that new flange on, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a screwdriver and pop, pop this out right here.
So there we go. It's just a tiny little piece of plastic. Some of these are actually designed so you can just thread this straight in. And you don't even need the lock washer. So that's good. So we'll take and put our wires in. And then we'll tighten our connector back down. So the wires for the, for the disposal are wrapped up in here. So here are my wires for the plug coming in and you'll notice that here's our neutral our ground so the ground actually goes to the grounding lug right here so we'll just do that one since it's super easy put your screw through there and just tighten her back down And like I did before, I'm just going to go ahead and take a screwdriver and just give her a little bit extra twist. So, me knowing that the one with writing was my hot, I'm just going to go ahead and hook it up. Uh, they provide you with the wire nuts already. So good thing once you get your wire nut on, I always like to pull just to make sure your wires got connected well. That way you don't have to worry about anything in the future of a wire nut coming off and causing you trouble down the line. All right, so you just tuck your wires back in and you grab your plate and put your screw back on. All right, so your next stage is you want to go ahead and have your tightening tool ready and you're going to put you're going to put this up and it's a balancing act and you got to get all three sides started and I cannot believe it but I'm pretty sure I just got it first try so you want to make sure you're straight and you want to go ahead and tighten that down until it stops. And there it is, your dishwasher or your dis disposal is, is in now. Take that around, turn her back in. Make sure she goes all the way in. I'm going to tighten this back up. Alright, now that's tight. I'm going to make sure that thing's seated good. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up right here. Not all the way, just a little bit snug. That way I'm... not forcing that around. Just give her a little tug, make sure she's tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my water and just let it run so it fills up everything to make sure I don't have any leaks. Well, I'm not seeing any right now. 
So what I want to do is I just plug in the disposal and I'm going to turn it on and see what she sounds like. Wow, that is so quiet. Here, let me let me turn the water off so you can hear how quiet this thing was. When I turned on my old one, it was like super super loud, but here's the new one. Just super quiet. So now that I'm all done, I'm going to take the stopper. And I'm going to fill my sink up with water just to make sure that when I have a lot of water draining down, if you dump a pot out or whatever, that the that it's sitting in there for a second, it's not going to come around that seal. All right, so I've got a lot of water in there. Let me move my towel from earlier. So. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And we're gonna look right around here and look for leaks. I don't see any leaks there. No leaks there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. And you can see the water rushing through. I don't see any leaks at this flange. And the water's just draining right out. Good to go. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you can apply some of this to your next install. Please check back for more videos like this. If there's something that you want to see me do, go ahead and drop something in the comments down below. Remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you later.